It's a part of rail history in southwestern Ontario. The Port Stanley Terminal Rail Group says it's also important to its future. Both the Ontario Transportation Ministry and Port Stanley Terminal Rail say they've asked CN to leave the line alone while a feasibility study is done on the potential for freight service. The study is half over, but the track is being torn up. I get the impression that uh, CN wants to put us out of business. The highlighted line, which runs from top to bottom on this map, is the old LMPS railway, which CN doesn't use anymore. The Transportation Ministry study will determine whether it's feasible to run a freight service and whether the Ontario government should help get it off the ground. Canadian Nationals started tearing up the track this week, but no spokesman was available to comment. Port Stanley Terminal Rail purchased a freight locomotive as part of the push to launch a freight service. Tourism trains attracted 16,000 passengers last year, but the group says it needs the money from freight. It means that Port Stanley Terminal Rail will probably not have the finances in order to maintain the bridges, and without the bridges, the train can't run, and eventually we'll have to fold up. Ian Caldwell, TV London News, St. Thomas.